forests can be the place of nightmares. Ghoulish creatures lurk in the shadows, and strange sounds echo through the trees. And Thetford Forest in Norfolk is no exception, because here lives a creature that sucks our blood and also gives us disease. Reason enough to be scared? Well, let's see. I am, of course, talking about the common tick. Now, ticks aren't only found in forests, they love anywhere that is damp and grassy. They also love places where their host animals live. So, we're talking most of Britain, really. Normally, I want to avoid ticks, but today I want to find plenty. And with this blanket, I should find lots. Whilst this might look a bit odd, dragging a wool blanket across the ground is an incredibly efficient way to catch ticks. Well, that's about half an hour of heavy dragging for ticks. Let's see what we've got. There should be some on here. Yeah, there's a small one. The reason this blanket works is because as it drags past them, they think it's an animal. And of course, you can also make it work better by having the blanket soaked in urine, uh, which I haven't done, obviously. But there is a little tiny nymph, which is hunting for a meal. Me, probably. So the young are here, but are there any adults? Oh, there we are. Look, a partially fed adult. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I wonder if I can just coax it onto my arm where you'll be able to see. It's got this amazing, this amazing organ at the front called the, the hypostome. And the hypostome works like a, a wall anchor. You know, if you, if you drill into a wall, you have to anchor a screw in. Well, it's got a serrated organ which sticks into your skin and then it expands at the side and it's got teeth all the way down, so it basically anchors itself right into your flesh, which is why they're really hard to pull out. Oh, there's another one here, look! This is Tick Central here. I wonder if there's anything else. Oh, there's one feeding here! Look, look! It's got, it's stuck right in there. It's red, my whole skin's gone red there, look at that. Now, I suppose I should be a little bit worried about this because when ticks feed on you, they can transmit diseases. And the one that everyone's concerned about around here is called Lyme disease. So I wonder if I should perhaps go and find an expert who can tell me if being fed on like this is a real risk. I've come to talk to Susan O'Connell, a doctor specialising in tick-borne Lyme disease, to find out whether I'm at risk. I actually have one feeding on me now. Well, some ticks can carry the bug that causes Lyme disease. Right. And the ones that do carry it are very, very unlikely to transmit if they've been feeding for less than 24 hours. So the one here has been on my arm for about two hours, perhaps, something like that. Well, the chances are it doesn't carry the infection in the first instance, but even if it did, it wouldn't have had a chance to transmit it. Let's say that this tick is carrying Lyme disease. What symptoms would I expect to get? The most common symptom you get is um, a rash that spreads slowly out from the site of a tick bite. In a minority of cases, there could be neurological symptoms, and these are the things we really do want to be aware of so that it can be treated early. What's the best way to remove a tick? Use a pair of tweezers and take the tweezers to as close to the mouth parts as possible, mm -hmm. and then lift ah, upwards. Perfect. Well, thank you, Doctor. <laughs> thank you, Professor. I am now officially tick-free. Well, I haven't inspected everywhere yet, but that'll have to wait until tonight.